Hi, my name is Susanna and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to go through the features of our customer portal. Now, the customer portal is a feature that is available to our gold subscription users. And you do need to activate this in your workshop software subscription and send out an invitation to your customers so that they can set up their login details. We have videos that will go through these steps and I'll add a link to the top of this video as well as a link in the description below so that you can refer to these videos on how to activate and send out the invitation to your customers. Once they have uh, set up their login details, and I'll just log in here, they will be able to view all uh, their information related to their vehicles and your business itself. Just log in here. So we'll go through all the information that they'll be able to see and uh, what they can actually do from the custom portal. First of all, we'll start off on this left-hand menu bar. They'll be able to see all their contact details. Uh, they'll be able to change their password to the customer portal from here. They'll also be able to see any vehicles they have on the database with you in terms of your workshop. Uh, and they can skip through to see more of the vehicles that they've got listed. And they can click on these vehicles to see more information or add more vehicles if they have purchased a new one and they want to add in those details. Um, and I'll go through those functionalities in a second as well. First of all, on the main screen here, you'll see that the first widget here at the top uh, is going to be a list of any outstanding invoices they have yet to pay. Now they are able to click on this invoice and it will open up a new tab and they can then view that invoice and using the icons in the top right, they can either download that invoice for themselves on their computer uh, or they can print it off as well. The other thing that they will be able to see is in the top right hand widget is the vehicle details. So they'll have their um, type of vehicle registration and also if there's any rego or service due dates that are ap applicable to that particular vehicle. They can use these arrow icons on the left and right to go and navigate through each of the vehicles. And as you can see, it changes the information uh, according to the vehicle that's displayed on there. And as you will notice as well, there is also a create booking. So this will actually utilize the online booking diary function. Um, and so if a customer clicks on this button, uh, what you will see, it will open up a new browser. It will load up your online booking diary. But what's great about this is that it actually pre-fills all your customers' details. So their preferred method of contact, the vehicle details itself, their details, contact details. And all they need to do is then choose what type of appointment that they want to request and then the date they want to book in the job, the job form. And this will then in turn go into your uh, workshop software dashboard. So make sure before you activate your customer portal and send out invites to your customers that you do have your online booking diary function set up with your branding as well as the type of appointments that you want them to be able to request. Next down the next row, um, they can also see the uh, quotes that they have got available um, that has been sent to them, but they've been, that has been done. What they can do, again, click on these arrows and they can be able to view the quote, uh, much like you sending a quote to them via email, they can actually view it themselves. And the new function that we've got here as well is that they can actually accept the quote. So they can click on that quote and they can hit the accept button. So if we go into workshop software now, you'll be able to see on your dashboard that there is under the recent activity widget, you will now see that there's an accepted quotes tab. And from here, you can see which uh, quotes have been accepted and you'll be able to click on the edit button, which will take you to that quote and you can uh, create it, uh, change the invoice type from quote to invoice and also create a booking for it so that it appears in your booking diary. Next on is uh, a status update on the current open job. So this one will actually show you exactly what jobs are currently with their vehicles with you in the workshop, and they can actually get a live update as to the status. So this is going to pull through from the job status field that is in the job card or the open invoice. Whatever you change in there will appear in here. So if we go into this job here, 51652,
you will see that the job status is waiting for parts and that's what appears on the uh, customer portal. If I change this to be completed, uh, it will also then change on the customer portal as well so they can see that the job is complete or a job is booked in, it hasn't been started yet. The third widget on this second row uh, will show your customers what bookings they have coming up in the future. So if it's in the booking diary, it will appear in this uh, box here. And finally, on the bottom, they can see their history. So this will actually list all the invoices that are applicable to this particular vehicle. Um, and they can actually go and click on those invoices, print them off, download them. Uh, so now this will eliminate the need for them to contact you and ask you to send the invoices through to them. They can actually access this and um, retrieve whichever invoice they need. There will be a navigation icon up here so that if they have multiple invoices or more than the four that are displayed, they can click on the arrows backwards and forwards to navigate to see the other pages. The other thing they can do is search by invoice number. So if you enter the invoice number in here, it will bring back the one that you are looking for. And you've got your service history report as well. This will actually generate a new PDF and uh, in a new tab, I should say. And this is actually a report of all the uh, invoices that have been processed for all vehicles under that customer name. So you'll notice that this is a reef runner up here and then you've got a Mazda 6 down here as well. So this will actually show you all the history that that customer has for all the vehicles. Um, so that will be quite important for them if they want to print that out at any time, especially if they're wanting to sell a particular vehicle, they can um, uh, retrieve that information from here. Now well, coming back to the vehicle information on the left hand navigation bar, uh, your customers will be able to add uh, new vehicle details simply by clicking this plus icon and this uh, pop-up window will appear and they can fill in as much details as they have on hand that they know of. Um, all they will need is a rego, transmission and body type. That is the minimum requirements and then they just click save and that will add the vehicle into the customer portal but also into your workshop software file. In regards to the existing vehicles, they can certainly click on this information and the pop-up window will appear and they will be able to see um, the details of their particular vehicle. Now they are unable to change any of these, these details, this is purely um, to view and they are unable to remove any vehicles that are on the customer portal. If they want anything to be removed, if they let you know that they've sold, for example, the Mini Countryman, they will need to let you know so that you can actually transfer that vehicle off their customer profile in workshop software itself. And that's uh, all the features of the customer portal. What are your thoughts? Do you love it? Is this going to help you save time in terms of the admin requirements or requests from your customers? Would love to hear your feedback. Please pop them in the comments below. If you have any questions, also pop them down there and we'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for your time and hopefully this is going to have a massively positive impact on your business. Thanks again.